Hey, welcome good day, everybody. This is Sports Side News. I'm Joe Boyer. Please need to subscribe down below to keep us growing. It's just going to be a video on Darcy Kemp ranking a five-year, 5.25 AAV contract with the Washington Capitals as he beats Jack Campbell in the AAV battle. But like I said in the video that came out on the Oilers getting Jack Campbell, I think Jack Campbell might beat him in the durability battle just because he has less wear and tear on his legs as both of these guys are durability concerns. But let's get right into it. The Capitals did not just sign Darcy Kemper. They also were able to bring in Charlie Lindgren for $1.1 million AAV for a three-year contract after he was able to merge with the Blues. So claps up to Charlie Lindgren. And I do think that really helps the planet because that's a big difference. I would say Campbell might win the durability battle between the top two goaltenders on the market this year because he has less wear and tear. But Kemper already now with the signing of Lindgren has a very good B that seems like they can kind of platoon with each other and Lindgren might be able to play that 20 to 25 games, maybe even 30 to take weight off of Kemper. The Oilers only have Skinner right now who I like more than their organization seems to and think if he goes elsewhere he might be able to have success to start as a third string and build his way up from there more so than in Edmonton who keeps burying him. But it doesn't seem like from past experience they have the most confidence in Stuart Skinner so you would think they're going to make a move there. They already did, and that's what I really like about the Capitals. They didn't just bring in Kemper, and that's why I give this move a a a minus compared to the B plus. I think I gave the Jack Campbell move because they brought in Kemper, but they also brought in protection for Kemper because Kemper's biggest concern is his durability and his health. He can be very on when he's durable when he's durable and healthy, but when he's trying to play through something, some guys like the Hellbucks of the world and others can do that. Other guys can't, and Kemper usually fits in the category where he doesn't look too sexy trying to play through stuff. So I think getting Charlie Lindgren, that makes me move this into A- minus because this has a chance to be a very good tandem. R.C. Kemper and Charlie Lindgren, with how Lindgren seems like he might be one of those like the Smith late-blooming backup goaltenders, well, that's fine because if he can mix in perfect with Kemper and give him the rest he needs so Kemper doesn't get overplayed like even he had to sometimes before Francois came back in Colorado, I think that's really going to help Darcy Kemper. So because of the fact that they already got him protection and 1.1 per year, excuse me, I think is a good cap hit for Lindgren with what he was able to do, Jesus, what he was able to do in the AHL and NHL last year so to me this is a good move they protected Darcy Kemper also and they were able to bring in a guy in Kemper who seems like when at his best he is a Vezina candidate goaltender it's just we have to see him consistently stay at his best and in order to do that he has to stay healthy but because they also brought in the protection right away for him I have to give this move an A- minus compared to the B plus for Campbell because as of yet the Oilers haven't done where look how quickly Washington was able to make these two moves to bring in the protection for Kemper plus Darcy Kemper the protection being Charlie Lindgren right now they only have Stuart Skinner out there in Edmonton peace everybody stay safe please subscribe down below or above on the easy switch keep us growing to the next goal of 300 or more